Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at third day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is maximum area of a piece of cake after horizontal and vertical cuts. So the input given here is the height and width of a piece of cake and the horizontal cuts and vertical cuts integer array which represent where we are cutting the cake horizontally and vertically. And we have to return the maximum area of a piece of cake in after the cuts. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given input and the height and width is given as 5 and 4. So let's consider we are having a rectangular cake of height 5 and width 4. So we are going to cut the cake at position 1, 2 and 4 horizontally. So let's cut them at 1, 2 and 4. Same way vertically we are going to cut at positions 1 and 3. So we cut 1 and 3. So we know area of a rectangle is height into width. So if we want to calculate area of each of these rectangles, then we have to know the individual height and width of each pieces. So to find individual height, consider this as rows and columns. For the first row, the height is going to be 1 because the difference between 0 to 1 is going to be 1. And the next row is going to be also 1 because the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. And the next is going to be 2 because the difference between 4 and 2 is going to be 2 and the last one is going to be 1. Same way if we calculate the width at each column then it is going to be 1, 2 and 1. So now we know the widths and height of each row and column so it is very easy for us to calculate the area of each rectangle inside it because we know it is the product of width and height. So here the maximum or the highest area is going to be 2 cross 2 and that is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this problem? So if we are approaching it in the same way I have explained, we have to find the difference between each values in the horizontal cuts and vertical cuts and we have to find the area of each rectangle and fix with the maximum one. But that is actually going to take big O of n cross m time where n and m are the differences or the height differences between the horizontal and vertical cuts. But how do we approach this in an optimal way is the question here. So consider this example again this is a rectangular cake of width 30 and height 20. So if we are making a cut at position 20 vertically then we know our maximum area is gonna be there in the first column that is the difference here is 20 and the difference here is 10. So if the area is has, has to be largest then in that case the values also should be largest. So if we check where, where our height is going to fall whether in the 20 section or in the 10 section it is definitely going to be in the 20th section because that is the higher value. So higher width gives us the higher area. Same way if we are making a cut at 5 horizontally then the the height of the first row is going to be 5 and the height of the second row is going to be 15. So in this case we again know our highest area is going to fall where our highest height is. So it is easy for us to find the largest area where our highest height and highest width meet. So now the task shortened up to finding the largest width and the largest height among the given horizontal and vertical cuts. So once we find the largest or maximum height and width we are going to return the product of it so th that is the maximum area we could get so yes this is the overall approach and this is going to work in n log n time complexity because we are going to sort both of the horizontal and vertical cuts array that is going to take log n time and we are going to iterate and find the maximum height and width that is going to take n time so overall it is going to take n log n time complexity and why we are sorting the array is if suppose the height is going to be 20 and 10 then if we are finding the differences then it is going to return us minus 10. In order to avoid the negative values we are going to first sort the array and then find the differences between each values. So hope you are understanding this solution. Let's go to the code now. So as I said we are sorting the arrays horizontal cuts and vertical cuts. And I am declaring two variables m and n that denotes the length of these arrays for easier access. So now we are going to find the maximum height and maximum width by considering or iterating the arrays horizontal cuts and vertical cuts. But 
the first index 0 and the highest index h will not be included in horizontal cuts. That is if we want to calculate the difference between uh, 0 to the first height or the first cut also the difference between the highest height given and the last index value which will not be included if we iterate and find the differences between each adjacent values in both the arrays. So we have to handle these two conditions first and then move on to calculating the further differences. So I'm declaring two variables max height and max width where I'm handling these two conditions while declaring them itself. So I'm going to copy the same for max width as well. So now I'm going to have two for loops and the first one is going to iterate the values of my horizontal cuts and calculate or update the maximum height with the maximum height after calculating each differences between the adjacent values. Same way I'm copying this for vertical cuts as well and calculating the maximum width. So once that is done, finally we are going to return the product of max height and the max width. But here they have asked us to return in modulo of 10 power 9 plus 7. So I'm declaring a modulo value and trying to do a modulo and converting it to a long variable in order to avoid integer overflow. So let's run and try. So let's submit. So let me try updating a modulo value. Let us submit now. Yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 26 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope this video helped you. And if you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.